What's going on guys, Crossy Talk here, back again on my WWE Smackdown review for the 3rd of the 1st, 2020. The first review of 2020. Um, and I'm going to say that this Smackdown was a decent show. I kind of was watching highlights of it and I did see the show. I did actually watch the whole episode of Smackdown. Yeah, the whole two hours I watched it. First in a while. Um, so we started Smackdown with Sasha and Bailey coming out, kind of promo. Then Lacey and Dana come out. Obviously, Lacey turned face, face a couple weeks ago, and she, um, you know, she was going for Sasha's title at Royal Rumble, at Bailey's title at Royal Rumble. Then obviously, she said she's not competing. Whatever, I wasn't really listening to the whole thing. Then um, Alexa come out and Nikki. So it's Nikki and Alexa versus Sasha and Bailey versus Lacey and Dana in the triple threat match. Um, Alexa and Nikki get the win, and it was a good opener for SmackDown. Had a lot of good back and forth and stuff. I thought that it really went to the good way to go into SmackDown. You had a good talking segment with Sasha and Bailey, Lacey Evans, and I don't want to do too much, but you know they have good thing and Alexa had some match up, which was good. Um, so yeah, overall it was a good way to start off SmackDown. Um, then we had um. We had this whole Otis and Mandy Wilson world fight, obviously being a love story. And this was a love story that everybody wanted. Mandy Wilson, and Otis. Not this whole fucking Rusev, Lana, Lashley, and fucking Liv Morgan fucking story. Or what are they doing right now on Raw? This was a story that they, that they should have done. Because this is the story one that everybody wanted. Like, here's Otis. He's like a nerdy, overweight guy. And it's just so well done. And... He's getting him over even more as, as a face, and you know, Mandy's fun for this guy because obviously all, all the heels look like Dolph Ziggler and all the other guys that they, they do after all train him as a bruiser, and he's never had a uh, good looking girlfriend before. And now, like, Mandy Wells has got his eye, they're like, Oh my god, I, you know, I want to go with Mandy Wells. So, I like this here. Uh, you, have, you, have, you have a good segment there. Um, with Otis and stuff. And then you had Shame yeah, and then you had Shorty G versus one of the revival member. Um the revival got the win they ambush um Shorty G after Shames comes out with his old school early twenty tens um look and he bro kicks um Shorty G so obviously it looks like it looks like he's aligning himself with the revival. Um then we have Roman Reigns, then you might have a segment back there saying that Roman Reigns is going to enter the Royal Rumble because then you going to enter. And he's going to face the Fiend at the Royal Rumble for the Universal title. So it looks like obviously they're teasing kind of like a Bang and Bang Roman Reigns match at WrestleMania. Um, then we had um, the Miz versus Kofi. Now, this was a good match, but you know, I've seen Kofi and Miz actually before, and it was a decent, good match. Um, Kofi gets the win, and um, after that, Miz just snaps and he attacks Kofi, so obviously he, that he now that he is a heel. Um, after that, Kathy Kelly tries to get an interview with John Morrison, with the Miz, but then John Morrison comes out, first time in eight years that he returns on WWE TV, and says he's, Miz isn't up for any talking right now. And um, it looks like the John Morrison and Miz are back as the dirt sheets, and it looks like to me that going into the Royal Rumble, we're going to have maybe, well, we are going to have. Dolph Ziggler, not Dolph Ziggler, New Day of Kofi and Big E versus Morrison and Miz. And we've got Morrison and Miz could have like a bit of tag team title. Now, this is a good way to bring in Morrison. Now, I was skeptical that Morrison was coming back because I love John Morrison. And seeing him how he was mistreated before in WWE, I didn't want him to come back. He was in so well on the independent scene, he was killing it everywhere, Impact Wrestling, whatever. He comes back to WWE, and yeah, I know he's an older guy, but you could still have him as a main event guy. Look at AJ Styles, look at. Um, Randy Orton, he's still main eventing stuff like that, so he could be a good top name. John Morrison, like look at the match he could have. I'm not being smart to heel, but th like this could be a good way to bring in John Morrison and him as a heel. Um, I'm a, I'm interested to see how this dirt sheet looks now in this piece in this PC world. Now, last time they did the dirt sheet, it was in the TV14 era when obviously it wasn't the world the world wasn't so PC. So um, I'm interested in that. See how that goes. Um, then we have a Roman Reigns segment, and basically, he gets beat down by Corbin and Ziggler, and it's the same old crap we see every week, and then the Usos come up, and they make a return, so it's kind of a lot of returns tonight, and, um, 
that was nice. Not, I don't know. Like I said, I missed anything out, but yeah, let's leave your thoughts in the comments.